Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, I know many of you were off yesterday for Memorial Day, so um, yeah, I hope your Tuesday is great. I am going to do some makeup and we're gonna chat a little bit. And I found a new color combination that I'm in love with and I haven't tried it yet. So you guys are gonna get to try it with me. Um, first, while I get my stuff together, I'm gonna prime my face. You want to prime your face. This is an oil-free fine mist or ultra fine mist um, priming spray. It basically just gives your skin a smooth canvas to, you know, for your makeup to go onto, which is super, super important. Side note, how long is my hair getting? <laughs> I'm so excited. I cut my hair like up to here. Um, it's been a long time, like a couple years, and it has taken it so long to grow out. It was in, um, so you can see like some of the back is a little bit shorter still <laughs> because I had a stacked bob. It's something I had been wanting to do for a long, long time, but you know, I talked myself out of it. And anyways, back to my priming spray. <laughs> it's just something that is super good for your skin, um, especially before putting on makeup. Um, it is paraben free and also it's the same company, um, Scandinavia, that makes our priming spray. They're the same company that makes Urban Decay's um, priming spray. Just the biggest difference is ours is paraben free and ours has B vitamins in it. So even if you are having a no makeup day, you can spray it all over and it's eventually going to help reduce the size of your pores, which, hello, that's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Shinto 2 foundation, and oh my gosh, it's like literally my perfect color now. I'm so excited <laughs> for it to be basically summer. Um, and then my favorite way to use this now is with my diffuser brush. Um, this is a good brush to use if you want a sheer coverage. Um, another option for a sheer coverage is to use a blenderful and dampen it. That'll give you a really pretty sheer coverage. Or also if you have textured skin, whether it be from any type of scarring or any fine lines or wrinkles, this is an awesome brush to use uh, because again, it's just kind of lightly diffusing over your face versus if you're using a blenderful, you're kind of like dabbing it in. Um, so these are great to use for that reason. So, and they are vegan brushes, so they're incredibly soft. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna give you a little bit of a comparison. So we're gonna dab it. This is a wax-based product. So if you have a chance to just kind of let it warm up on your skin for a few seconds before you start blending it, it will blend much easier. I mean, that's not even blended yet. And you can already see how much of a difference it's made with my complexion. And I do have this scar up here, thanks to my brother. I guess that's a perk of growing up with three brothers. You just, <laughs> you know, you end up with scars. So this is this side of my face versus this side of my face. How awesome is that? And I'm using very little um, product. I know it kind of looks like a lot because I'm swirling it, but it's a wax base, so it's not going to pick up as easy as like a liquid would. So then again, again, just kind of dab it on. And then rub it over. The reason that it doesn't take very much product is because this is, again, it's wax-based, but it's also 50% pigment. Most of what you're gonna get in a commercial store, even Ulta or Sephora, is gonna be um, one, the same price, if not way more, and way less coverage. So, um, I mean, this has been used for decades. It is rated the number one foundation. Um, it has been rated the number one foundation for decades um, by pro professional um, makeup artists. So, that, if you, you know, don't want to trust me, you can trust that. <laughs> Okay, so there is that. I'm gonna do just a little bit of concealer. So this is what we call our perfect um, complexion palette. So I have a foundation and I have two concealers. This is concealer number zero. It's the lightest concealer we have. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome highlighter. Um, however, right now I'm gonna use concealer number two. It's a little bit closer to my skin tone, but it's still going to give me a really, really um, just light and natural highlight. So I'm just gonna place it everywhere I need. 
and then I'm gonna go back and and blend everything so it might look a little funny at first and that's okay and I use my finger again this is a wax product as well so if you just let it warm up with your finger, it's going, to me, it rubs on way, way, way smoother. Um, we do have a concealer brush. I kind of go back and forth between using that. Um, obviously, when I do people's makeup, I use a concealer brush because I don't, you know, I don't want my fingers all over their face making them uncomfortable. <laughs> but for myself, it definitely, um, it's been way, way, way easier to do my makeup this way. And I always put a little concealer on my eyelids because this is a complete concealer. So it also acts as an eyeshadow primer and it is waterproof. So this is not going to be smudging at all. So you can see with just the little bit that I put on this side, it just gives my face just a natural brightness to this side versus this side. Now, obviously if, if I used concealer number zero, which is our lightest one, it would be a lot more dramatic and I never realized, you know, I guess when I first started using Lime Life's makeup, um, <laughs> it was the first makeup that I had really ever played with. Um, I've always just been a tomboy, so um, I, you know, heard people say, oh, concealer zero, so I automatically went to that one, and I didn't know to blend. <laughs> so here I am, a Shinto 2, with these bright white circles around my eyes, thinking that I'm just, you know, looking fabulous, and... I needed to blend no one told me that <laughs> okay so now I'm just going to actually I didn't put any on my eyelid yet did I I don't think so <laughs> and I'm gonna show you so if you have oily skin I'm gonna show you a trick to use for um, for your eyelids if the complete concealer isn't enough for you sometimes you need a little bit extra depending on how oily you are I do not have oily skin so I can get by with the minute like bare minimum basically So then I just blend and whenever I blend, I'm just dabbing. You don't want to push and pull to blend because then you are just moving all of your product around. And I really like to make it a point to kind of press really firmly under my eye area to kind of help create that from creasing. But again, I'll show you a trick for that as well if that is a problem area for you. And something else to keep in mind, if you are noticing a lot of creasing under your eye area, especially with our concealer, um, you really need to play around with practicing um, the method less is more because these products are so um, heavily pigmented. Sometimes we kind of get in the habit of not realizing that we don't need that much. Okay, so it doesn't really take too long to to blend it out and then if that is still too light if you're like okay I blended enough it's not enough take whatever's left over on your diffuser and just lightly use the end of your handle because these are weighted for a reason and just lightly dust over everything that you just did and it'll be perfect so there is my perfect complexion palette and then what do I want now I'm gonna get my translucent powder out so I can kind of show you your trick to if you have oily eyelids. So you're just gonna take a large eyeshadow brush and you're gonna use this um, perfect translucent powder down here. And you're gonna get, get some on your brush and then you're just gonna dab it over your concealer that is now on your eyelid. And that is really, if you have oily eyelids, it's just a really good trick for you to use especially so your eyeshadows aren't moving, your eyeliner is not budging, and everything just stays in perfect harmony. Sometimes when you have oily skin, you need um, to know a few more tips and tricks versus someone with dry skin like myself. I don't have to do any of that. Um, so it took me a while to, to learn stuff like that because, you know, I don't have to do that. But I enjoy, I have a lot of clients who are oily skinned, um, so I obviously like to be able to help them the best that I can. So there is that. And then another trick, if you are still, if you're like, okay, this is creasing way too much for me, take the tip of your blender full 
and rub a little bit on the tip and then you're just going to dab it right under your eye area and firmly press just a combination of both whatever feels best for you because again you're the one that's doing your makeup okay just like that so since I have this trio out, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my bronzer. This is bronzer number three. It is a matte bronzer. Um, and it just, I never, you know, not being much of a makeup person, I really wasn't ever into bronzers. Um, I didn't really understand the point of them. I didn't know how to wear them. And I just, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't wear any of it. So it wasn't until, um, you know, I obviously got introduced to Lime Life and all of their products that I wanted to start venturing out. And the reason being is because the coverage that I got from Lime Life's foundation was so much better than what I had, I was used to. So in the summertime, I don't always notice it as much just because I'm, I'm more tan. But in the wintertime, when my tan is gone and I put this foundation on, it's like I'm just one solid color. And I've always, always, always had naturally um, rosy cheeks. So, you know, I've never really wanted to add anything extra because my foundation never covered that. Um, and now that it does, I've learned to, you know, enjoy more products, basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, I will also say Lime Life's products, with them being such professional quality, um, it makes them incredibly easy, even for beginners like myself and like you, if you're not familiar with using makeup, the products are extremely high quality, which could seem intimidating to someone who's not, you know, used to wearing makeup, but, um, take it as a good thing because you want a good quality product to be able to blend. Um, and that is really, I feel like I am a blending queen. I blend literally everything. <laughs> um, Sometimes I feel like you probably can't even see it because I blend it so much, but it makes me feel good. <laughs> okay, so there is my bronzer, and I really just kind of did a three around my face and my jawline, and then I pull it all down so it's more even. Um, and my just like, look at my chest versus my face. Like, this just looks so smooth and like almost airbrushed, and then my chest, you can obviously tell, is sun-kissed a little bit too much. <laughs> We went to the beach a lot this weekend, but that's what summers are for, right? Okay. Um, okay, sorry. I thought I heard somebody knocking, but I guess not. Um, so now I'm going to put on our brow gel. These have little vegan um, fibers in them, plant-based fibers attached. So whenever you rub it on your brows or just kind of strike it on, the fibers are going to attach to the brows that are already there and fill in any spots. Voila, look how much of a difference that makes. Um, before these launched, I always, like I was a huge, huge, huge fan and I kind of still am just depending on the day and my mood of using a brow tamer brush, using setting spray and an eyeshadow pigment. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette I have right now. Obviously, you're not gonna use these for your eyebrows, but we've got tons that I can help you choose from. And what you do is you get your brush wet, dip it in the pigment, and then just kind of draw on your eyebrows that way. That's an amazing way. I have so many clients that do um, their brows that way because they don't have very many hairs, so this brow gel isn't going to attach to anything for them. So I've got tons and tons of clients that I help you know, attain that look with. And it is very, very pretty. And um, you can definitely make it look very natural. And that is what I did up until we launched the brow gels. I'm like, I'll just, I'll try the gels so I know, you know, how to describe them to someone else, but I'm not gonna like them. I'm gonna wanna use my pigments again. And I fell in love with the brow gels. <laughs> so here I am. Here I am. All right, so now we have our um whew, foundation concealer brow gel bronzer and the other thing that i pretty much do um we're gonna do some eyeshadows and lips i might actually put on a little bit of um bronzer just because it's kind of a glowy summery look so i'm gonna show you this really really pretty bronzer it's called glowing it's number six right here and let's just put some of that on it's almost more of a um 
I don't even know if I put this on my hand. Like it is so, so, so subtle and light that um, it take like it's kind of hard to see, honestly, unless you really like pile it on. I've got it right here, but it does have a shimmer in it. So um, it will give you a little bit of a glow if that is what you were wanting. So I'm just gonna place it right here. Oh yeah, I can see that now that it's actually on my cheek a lot better than I could. Could my hand, so hopefully you can as well. Okay, so there is that, just a little bit, but obviously when you're in the sun, that is really going to, to pop, so I like it. And now I'll move on to my eyeshadows and then my lip combo. I'm gonna do some, um, some tricks with our eyeliner pencils too because I am loving our eyeliner pencils. Um, we have our eyeliner pen, which we've had since the get-go. It's a smudge-proof eyeliner pen. It's amazing. If you love liquid eyeliner, you need this pen, and it lasts forever. Like, it's $18. So I got one in my starter kit. These are one of the many products that come in your starter kit, and I got that in June. And then I used it all through June, July, August, September, October. In October, I even like tripled the use of this because I did my son's makeup quite a few times and he wanted to be a dragon that year. Um, so I had a bunch of different, I at least did his makeup at least five different times with my eyeliner pen and there was a lot of black spots all over his face and his horns. And I don't think I got another one until like that following February. Like it lasts forever. So this is a very, very good investment, especially if you love liquid eyeliner. And if you're not crazy about liquid eyeliner, we now have three enduring eyeliner pencils and these are incredible, ladies. They are incredible. They're enduring. They're gonna last up to 24 hours, smudge proof. They are gonna dry. It's like within 10 to 15 seconds, they're going to instantly dry once you have it on. So something I've been doing lately for like an evening um, look is to smudge my black eyeliner so I have to put it on and then I use brush number 11 which is my smudge brush you can see that it's black now and I just smudge it quickly and it sets it's awesome so these are a great 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 tool I'm actually going to be using the neutral shade um, on my waterline because it just it really makes your eyes just pop it makes them more awake and yeah I just love it so right now I'm going to go in with, I'm going to use two of our new shades. This is our, um, I was going to wipe my palette off a little bit for you. It's kind of messy, but this is our fresh picked possibility palette, eyeshadow palette. It's limited edition. So if you love these, go grab it now because before it sells out and you can't have them. Um, so right now I'm actually going to use pure marigold, this one right here. And... Normally, I have been mixing these with some of our other colors, but today I'm just going to go in with Pure Marigold. And I'm kind of keeping it above my lash line and just in the crease. And I'm going to play around with it a little, but I have a look in mind that I'm trying to achieve. So let's see if I can get it. I never, ever, ever would have worn orange eyeshadow. No. <laughs> but I love it now, and I think that you can make it super pretty. keep forgetting that I have errands that I need to run today and I have a limited time to do them <laughs> but here I am just you know in my own little world okay so there is pure marigold okay super pretty right and now we are going to take an angled eyeshadow brush this is number nine it has a little bit of product on it so I'm gonna use this little swatcher thingy I got it off Amazon it's a I don't know what it's called I don't know where the lid is but it's basically just a color swatch. 
Um, it's not going to clean and get bacteria off your brushes, so please don't skip that step. But um, like I just did, I had a little bit of product on here, wiped it off, and now it's gone. So, But I definitely still need to wash it. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do, hold that thought, we're going to go in with brush number 10 first. It's just um, kind of like an angle or like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with Whoopsie Daisy, which is this kind of hard to tell but it is like a goldish yellow um, shimmer and I've got a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna go right underneath my eyebrow right on my brow bone and just kind of highlight that a little so you can see when the light hits it it's so pretty oh my gosh <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so pretty right like it's just so natural um you can obviously make it a little more dramatic if you'd like so now i'm gonna go in with my angled eyeshadow brush this is brush number nine i'm going to get it wet with my finishing spray and i'm tapping it in whoopsie daisy okay and i'm going to place it right here in the corner of my eye adding a lighter shimmer in the corner of your eye helps give it a really really pretty glow like it just helps make everything pop and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now you don't have to wet your brush to apply the shimmers. I, again, just love the, the pop that it gives. So I always do. And then I'm going to go back in. I'm actually going to use the same brush. This is brush number 10 and just kind of um, blend this out. See, it's kind of harsh looking right there. And I love to blend everything. So... I want it to look a little more put together. Just like that. Very, very pretty. And now, maybe I'll add a little bit more orange. Let's just play. Let's just play. Now this stuff is incredibly pigment, so I always knock off a ton of product. I still think that that's probably too much, so I might be able to do both eyes. Yep. <laughs> and then just kind of rub that on there. Okay, that is better. So now I'm getting ready to apply the Enduring Eyeliner Pencil in shade Neutral and I'm just going to apply it gently to my under eye area or to my waterline area, sorry. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to help brighten my eyes and just, you know, give my eyes a brighter appearance. And I have never used an eyeliner pencil or any product um, for that matter that has actually stayed in my waterline like this legit stays on and it like I kind of have to rub a little extra or use our new make off remover spray to get this off at night like it is amazing it'll last you through the heat through anything these eyeliner pencils are they're just amazing you have got to try one we have them in shades neutral which is what I'm putting in my waterline and we have a dark brown and we have black. Sometimes for my evening looks, I love to put the black on my under eye and smudge it. If you smudge it, as soon as you put it on, it'll smudge perfectly, but you really wanna act quick because once these things set, they will stick forever. <laughs> nice and bright and now moving on to our liquid eyeliner pen this thing is awesome as well if you are a liquid eyeliner lover like myself you have got to do yourself a service and try this 
it's amazing obviously you can get a super super fine line which is my preference you can build a line this is going to allow you to create your perfect winged eyeliner and this is not gonna smudge um, obviously I know I'm supposed to wash my face every night but I have definitely forgotten before and this stuff does not budge it has stayed all night long it's seriously amazing oh and I got a little bit probably in my eye what's new <laughs> Yay, a brand new box of mascara. Our mascara is the bomb. If you haven't tried it, I don't know why you haven't. It's hypoallergenic, it's perfect for even those with sensitive eyes. It is a one-step fiber lengthening mascara. So it's buildable and yeah, who has time for more than one step? I know I sure don't. And with this awesome product, you don't need. So here I am kind of um, twisting the two the wand out of the tube you want to twist instead of just pulling out or then just pulling putting the wand back in because it will create more um, air in the tube and it's going to dry out your mascara quicker so get in the habit of kind of twisting it back in or twisting it back out whenever you're applying it Okay, so I hope that that voiceover text um, worked on the video. It's always kind of boring to watch me apply eyeliner and mascara. I do not have special techniques for mascara, so you get what you get. <laughs> it still goes on the same. So now on to the lips. We are going to use three lip products. I'm going to use my Enduring Lip Liner in shade Light Nude. It comes in this super cute self-sharpening um, packaging. <laughs> I'm going to be using Salted Caramel Enduring Lip Liner, and then I'm going to be putting on um, Peace Lip Gloss right over top. There we go. So this is Peace Lip Gloss, so I'm going to be applying all three of those. I love our Enduring Lip Liners. I put them on almost or underneath almost everything now. So I'm going to line my lips and then just fill in. Um, actually, let me apply a little bit of oil just to give my lips a little bit more moisture. So I'm going to use my One Drop Wonder. I'm going to put just a dab on my finger. Yeah, that feels so good. Okay, that feels better. <laughs>
So that alone is pretty by itself. Um, especially at nighttime, I think, I don't know, there's something about like a light nude lip that's so pretty. So there's that, I'm gonna leave it out. Dries pretty quick. So now I'm gonna be doing, or using an enduring lip color. These are liquid lipstick in a tube. And the key to applying these, okay, there is a trick. So you want to, when you pull out your wand, a lot of product is on there. It's best to start with less. Less is more with all of our products. So just get that in your mind. <laughs> So I pretty much scraped everything off. I've got a little bit of product and I'm going to apply it and then it'll dry within just a few seconds. And then if you want another layer, then you can add another one. But we'll start with this. So that is just one layer, that's all I'm gonna do. And that is of salted caramel. It's a very, very pretty, especially with the um, Pure Marigold and Whoopsie Daisy eyeshadow. I really, really like it. So I've never tried piece over top of this, but I saw another beauty guy doing it and I loved it. So I'm like, mm, I need to try that. So now that this is dry, I will say adding One Drop Wonder, just a tiny little smidge underneath your lips, seriously, it makes them feel so much softer. So here is piece over top. Let's see what we got. Let me actually, so I can't decide if I want to take my big Riki with me or my Riki cutie with me to Hawaii next week. Okay. Isn't that so pretty? I think that's so pretty. It really just kind of gives both of those colors, both of those beautiful colors, just a completely different look. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do swatches for them, of them, so you can see them on my arm. Um, by themselves so i'll even do one of the nude enduring lip liner this is again the light nude and i'll do them on my hand so you can see them a little bit better so here's the light nude and then i'll put salted caramel i'll do this a couple different times this used to only be like my fall color i would only want to use that in the fall but now with peace over top of it, it just lightens it up and gives it a whole new, whole new look. And then here is our piece. It's very, very pretty. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you. So I don't know when I'm going to be doing another video. We are leaving for Hawaii. I was pretty excited. We leave on Sunday and we're going to be gone for a week. So I don't know if I'm going to, I'm definitely going to have some videos while I'm there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload it all while I'm there or have time or the mentality. Um, there's 13 of us going in the family, so we're going to be busy and we're going to have so much fun. But I will definitely, if I don't have a video before then, I'll definitely, or while I'm there, I'll definitely have one when I'm back. And um, feel free to send me any messages if you need help um, being color matched. I love color matching women. It's definitely, it's something that I found kind of enjoyable. <laughs> um, and let me know if you need any help um, placing your orders. Bye, like, bye.